Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how the overlay is working inside the bootstrap view. The overlay is uh, some way you can, you can um, tell your client about something happening, like if you save something, then you can mark the area about the, as an overlay and then add, uh, add the loading uh, spinner. And when it's done you can, you can listen on the callback for for this uh, overlay and and then just change the uh, the interface after you get the response back from the callback. So that's what we're gonna learn today, and I'm really happy happy to have you here today. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. You can find the subscribe button in the right corner below and press on the thing. And don't forget all the code here will be found on my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below the video. So let's go ahead and let's code some overlay in Bootstrap View. The first thing we're gonna do is the CB overlay, and uh, then we just say show it's false. We just say show here, and then we say rounded should be small. That's the the corner around the, the overlay. And uh, we're going down here to the data and say show false just to it's not giving the error option here. And then we're working with the B card. In the B card, we have a title and card with overlay. And uh, then we need this one and show this. True, else null, and uh, we go inside and say B card text and uh, card custom text here, and one one more and say click. Whoops, click the button. To toggle the overlay, and then we need to be button and let's say disabled. And then we can have a little bit button below here and uh, toggle overlay and class mark and top tree and we need to click and show is equal to different from the show. And I think that's it. So let's go in for, for the first test here. And we can just say starting the overlay. Now you can see this loading and everything is it's cool. You can just toggle it here, so I can listen on what happening. And the completely thing here would be be uh, like the overlay. So that's working pretty good. So let's go back to speak more about the the overlay. I think now when you have the point for what the, the overlay is and how it's working. Then I'll just uh, show you the uh, different about uh, you can change uh, um, the different way you can change for for the overlay, um, and this overlay will will be showing always. So the first overlay you want to build should be show here, and the variant should be succeeds. So we can change the color on it and the opacity could be 0 0.25 and the blur of it should be uh, 0 0.5 rim and the uh, round should be small and then we have the card inside I'll just say the B card and then we have a title And B card 
text and I'll just copy this one and dump it in the next one and I'll put it for 75 and I'll just uh, dark and then I'll just say one pixel here one pixel blur and uh, that's it so let's go back for the, the browser here and you can see you can just customize your uh, your overlay content so if you need it you can just change the color you can change the opacity you can change the, the blur and, and yeah, anything you can you, you think about you can do that in, in this way and, and simulate it like this area it's uh, basically just loading in the new content so please wait a little bit but if you want to change the the spinner we can do this so i think it's time to to change the the spin a little bit so let's go back for the editor and play it uh, with the, the custom spinner i'll just copy this one so we have it and i'll break this here and then we are ready to, to change the spinner so just to have it in the, in the default one i'll just remove this and I'll just say spinner bias should be danger and then we have spinner type uh, spinner type should be grow and then we have the next one I'll just remove this two and uh, we want to spin a bias primarily and then sp spinner type should be border and then and we, of course we want to say spinner large and then we are ready for going back here no I have a, a little bit ball let's see that And yeah, you can see this way. Okay, I don't know why it's not working properly. Okay, here we go. You can say the spinner small, and then the spinning is uh, very small, and then you have to change the, the spinner here. And that's uh, working pretty good. But of course, we can make a little bit more custom about the overlay, and I will show how you can customize the overlay with the with by using the slots uh, the v slots and and how that's working so let's go back to the editor and let's dive the customize of the overlay uh, down below here so let's uh, play around again say b overlay and the show should be the same as show and uh, then we need the round should be small and we can Go inside here's a B card. And the title should be custom overlay card. And hidden. That means the B card text. My custom card text with custom spinner options. And uh, then we just need I think we just need a little bit here. So bottom button and uh, ref show disable show I am primary click shows equal to different from now we just say true here and say upload photo and then we can just go down here and say template 
and this V slot should be the overlay and the class text center and the V icon and the icon should be image font scale is equal to 3 and animation is size and then we have the p tag uploading please wait and then we have b button we don't need this we don't need this Variant outline danger size small and click the fold and cancel. Let's see about how that's right. You can see we have the customized now. It's uploading and it's totally customized here. I can just remove this and then I say cancel and it's working pretty well. But yeah, you can see we have binded for the same data in the top, so it's working together. That's how you can work with the overlay in, in Bootstrap View, and it's pretty nice and, and pretty needed if you, if you work a lot with that. So I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and you can click on the thing below. And remember all the code here will be found on my GitHub. I will link to the GitHub profile. Uh, in the description below and I really hope you want to like and share this video too. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.